Have you been thinking about getting into real estate wholesaling? Well, hold off for just a second because real estate wholesaling is dead. Hey guys, it's Carlos Reyes. As you guys may be aware, I went from poverty to millions from real estate wholesaling. I started wholesaling real estate back in 2014 when it wasn't so saturated and it wasn't as competitive as it is today. For those real estate entrepreneurs that have been living under a rock and don't know what real estate wholesaling is, well, let me just break it down for you very, very briefly. Real estate wholesaling requires no money, no credit, no license. All it requires is a lot of creativity and a lot of hustle. The whole concept of real estate wholesaling is very simple. Here, I'll give it to you. You find an off-market discounted property from a motivated seller. And for those of you that are wondering, well, what is a motivated seller? A motivated seller is a homeowner who may be in distress or is just looking to sell their property very, very quick for cash. In many cases, motivated sellers are in different distress situations like divorce, bankruptcy, uh, they have to move out, they're behind on taxes, maybe it's just an extra property that they don't wanna deal with the problems, maybe it's a rental property that they no longer want to deal with those problems with those particular tenants or that property. There's a lot of different reasons that classify or qualify a motivated seller. So you find this motivated seller, you negotiate a good deal on this property where it becomes an off-market discounted property. You put that property under contract and even though you may not have the money to actually take the property down, buy the property yourself, renovate the property yourself, you go and you find a fix and flipper that actually has those resources to be able to do that for you, you get paid as the middleman for finding the property, finding the buyer, bringing these two entities together, you get what's called an assignment fee or a finder's fee. At that point, all you're doing is you're going to assign the rights of that property through the contract that you had the seller sign to the end buyer, the fix and flipper, and your job is done you get paid. So now that we got that down for all you aspiring wholesalers and active wholesalers who may be struggling to land consistent deals, well, let's talk about that. This is what's going on in the market right now. As you may very well know, it is a seller's market. So sellers have become more savvy and more demanding, which makes it more difficult for people like you and I, real estate wholesalers, real estate entrepreneurs, to land a good deal, negotiate a good solid deal that's a win-win for both sides. Also, if you're a wholesaler that doesn't have a crazy budget, well, guess what? You're not gonna get a lot of leads, and if you don't get a lot of leads, you're not gonna have a lot of conversations, and if you don't have a lot of conversations, well, guess what? You're not gonna be able to make a lot of offers and land a lot of deals. Think about it, you're competing with companies like myself who spend anywhere from 80 to $100,000 a month in just marketing. Let's be transparent here. If you're a part-time guy or you're kind of just dabbling and maybe doing this on the side, you're gonna dry out. You're not gonna last in this business. And if you're a full-time guy who's throwing a little bit of money towards marketing and is dedicating your entire day to finding these deals, well, guess what? If you don't have the proper systems, strategies, processes, and in some cases, people in place, well, you're not gonna compete either and you're not gonna survive in this game with what's going on in the market. So let's talk about some other factors why your everyday wholesaler is struggling. Marketing budgets, marketing strategies, the lack of knowledge, the lack of systems, the lack of processes, the lack of sales skills, the lack of consistency, the lack of going all in in your business, just to name a few. So let's talk about other factors why wholesalers are struggling and are running out of this industry. The lack of marketing budgets, hey, I get it. It's not easy to risk, you know, five, 10, 15, 20, $50,000 every single month hoping we get a deal. I understand that, I've been there. I'm there every month. The lack of marketing strategies. You don't know what works and what doesn't work. Does cold calling work? Does pay-per-click work? Does direct mail work? Does SMS work, AKA text messaging? Does ringless voicemail work? Does search engine optimization work? If you don't know what works, I get it. You're not very certain on where you wanna allocate your marketing budget to. What marketing avenue do I wanna put all my eggs in? All right, so let's talk about some adjustments that you can make in your business right now so you can turn this thing around and start winning. Let's talk about systems, processes, strategy, and knowledge. Hey, I don't know if you heard, but the easiest path for you to take to actually dial in to your systems, your processes, your strategies, your knowledge is to go to 10 
gainmomentum.com. We're gonna hold a two-day workshop that's gonna cover everything you need to know to start winning. All right, so let's talk about marketing budget. If you're a wholesaler that only has about $1,000 left aside for your marketing, well, guess what? You're more than likely gonna have to go with some very cost-effective strategies. So you're either gonna have to cold call yourself or you're gonna have to cold call yourself and maybe hire a cold caller to help you. So now you're attacking cold calling on two different angles and there's more firepower involved because it's you and a virtual assistant helping you cold call. You can afford that with $1,000 a month. Another strategy that you can actually utilize today if you only have about $1,000 is you can do SMS, AKA text messaging marketing. By the way, you can go to leadblastpro.com, sign up, and text messaging marketing is extremely convenient. You're talking anywhere from one to three cents a text. Same thing with ringless voicemail. You go to leadblastpro.com and it's gonna cost you exactly the same thing. Both strategies are very cost effective and they provide a crazy return on investment. So I strongly encourage you to look into leadblastpro.com for those two strategies if you wanna be cost effective and your marketing budget is somewhat minimal. Now, if you're operating with one to 3,000 or maybe five to $10,000 a month, well, the strategies do change. I strongly encourage you to hire three to five cold callers in your market, that's one. Two, you can always look into pay-per-click, AKA Google AdWords, why? Because for every 10 leads that you generate through Google AdWords, you're gonna land one contract. It's the fastest way to get to a deal. To get more information on Google AdWords or a pay-per-click campaign, Go to magnusdigital.com as soon as possible. Get in contact with Dave. I've been using him since 2016. He is amazing at what he does. Another marketing strategy that I encourage you to look into is direct mail. A lot of people out there, they're no longer doing direct mail. They're doing cold calling. They're doing a lot of text blasting and they all forgot about the one thing that's been consistent for the last three decades in this industry and that is direct mail. I use a company called turboletters.com and my favorite piece of mail is the Google postcard. That's postcard number one. I love it because of the response that I'm able to get. I get a crazy response rate and I'm able to talk to more people. So now that we discuss marketing budgets and marketing strategies, I wanna strongly encourage you to actually track your campaigns and to track your KPIs, AKA your key performance indicators. I don't want you to be flying blind like everybody else out there. That might be the difference between losing and winning in this industry. And if you're looking to get more information on what KPIs are and how you can actually use them in your business, go to investorautomation.com. It breaks it all down for you. Just think about it for a second. If I'm tracking my numbers like any legit business out there should be, right? And I know that I'm spending a certain amount of money on a specific campaign and it's bringing me a specific return on investment and you're flying blind. Well, guess what? I'm probably going to get more deals than you. Let's talk about consistency. Listen, a lot of people in this game think that you can get rich overnight. Absolutely not. It took me six months to land my first deal. And I know plenty of other multi-millionaire wholesalers that it took them anywhere from eight months to nine months, some even 12 months and now they're crushing the game. So be patient. If this is not gonna happen overnight, you have to stay consistent. Another reason why you may not be landing deals is your sales skills. Well, if you don't know how to actually talk to people, if you don't know how to actually build rapport, if you don't know how to negotiate with people, well, you're not gonna get a lot of deals. Think about it for a second. If one of my guys, right, let's just say my sales director, Adrian, is talking to the same seller that you're talking to, well, I would bet money on my guy over you any day of the week. And what does that mean for you? Well, that seller's probably gonna sell to Adrian over you because of his sales skills, his ability to actually connect with that seller, build rapport with that seller, and negotiate with that seller. So if you feel like you're struggling with your sales skills, your ability to close deals, you need to look into closersonly.com as soon as possible. They have a great sales mentorship, in my opinion, one of the top in the country. All right, so listen, if you've been struggling with your wholesaling business this year, and you feel like, man, I really need some help, don't be a stranger, reach out to me as soon as possible. And for all you aspiring real estate entrepreneurs, grab my free book, the link is down below bestreibook.com. Literally, it's for free. Grab it. Now, if you've already been doing deals and you kind of hit a plateau because you lack systems, processes, people, strategies, well, reach out to me. Go ahead and find me on Instagram and DM me the word scale and I'll give you the right direction. Hey, listen, real estate wholesaling definitely changed my life, my family's life, and thousands of other people just because I didn't give up. I don't want you to give up. And this is what I'm saying. 
reach out to me if you're even thinking about giving up. By the way, if you found this video entertaining, educational, informative, do me a huge favor, share it with somebody that needs to see this. And if you haven't subscribed, do so as soon as possible. We also love to hear your feedback down below in the comment section. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.